gay real world, Orlando. Couldn't be more convenient than the theater either. Um, since two of these towers just opened, there's the downtown area in this area. I can really go to eat little restaurants. Yeah, I kind of had trouble figuring out exactly where to go. AKA, she had cut Matt. Yeah, and Joel. And G Mac. And the Zaki. Of course. Always got to have the Zaki. <laughs> Your eyes look interesting tonight. Did you? You didn't put contacts or anything in, did you? Yeah. It's very interesting. It looks. It looks like you have your your black contacts in. Really? Yeah. You're looking into my inner soul. <laughs> Lines are fabulous. Huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. People. A lot of the people that are in the movie will stay because that, yeah. that was the intent of showing two boys' movies together. So we have a, quite a crowd inside. So. <laughs> oh yeah. As long as that's the thing camera. I don't know. No, no, just a little one right now. Whoop whoop. There she is. Hey y'all. I'm Brittany. <laughs> well, kind of like Brittany. We're in the VIP room. We're in the green room. I know, right? I felt like special. I felt like I'm somebody. And we were at G Max and Scotty with us. Josh is going to break the camera before they have him again. Look, did she a pat? It didn't break your little halfer. It didn't break the head of the coat. It won't break on Josh. Now, you Not in a good way. <laughs> I was sleeping though. I didn't even know. We were on our way to get our hair done, and we checked in my car right where we were about to turn. Five minutes. Whose fault was it? Beth? It was the guy behind us. Oh, okay. He was trying to cut through traffic, and he had a trailer connected off the car. <laughs> So, um, we are back from the movie premiere, and I'm here with the Tampa Boys, and I'm here with Josh. So, what did you think of the movie? It was good. Yeah. What? Uh, star shot. I felt like a paparazzi everywhere. The movie, it was so funny. Like, it was really funny. I couldn't stop laughing. And then I got a dirty look at Jonathan for it. What was your favorite, your favorite scene in the movie? Oh my god, my favorite scene. Jonathan getting in the fight. Jonathan getting in the fight. That was too funny. <laughs> so, what was the, what was the, the part that you liked the least about the evening? Um, I know everybody gets their own opinion on it, and we had our questionnaire at the end. Um, there was one guy that came out asking, um, basically saying that he was he wouldn't ever watch porn again because we were mistreated and all this and that. I instantly took the mic and was like, you know, this is horseshit. Um, if you actually go on the site and read the people's early years, you'll come to find out that the house is actually a safe place. I'm starting to learn from stuff. I mean, I've actually get to experience life. Um, God, life sucks. <laughs> but anyways, you, you get to go through that and you get to learn everything. And these people actually do care about us. 
and now we are on with Scotty. For those of our members that don't know, Scotty is a member. You've been a member for how long? Five or six years. Yeah, you've been around for a while. So um, you went to the premiere with us last night. Yeah. yeah. What would you think? I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was, it was put together pretty good. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, the way they, I guess, choreographed it. Is that mm -hmm. how, you know? Anyway, I thought it was you know, actually done pretty good. Now, do you remember a lot of the people that were in the movie? Um, actually, I wasn't actually at CBL when those members were there. Uh, I chatted uh, uh, briefly when they was in the old house. The movie? Yeah, what was, oh, yeah. What was your favorite part? John, just like him, Jonathan fighting with JC. <laughs> I actually text messaged Jonathan today saying that it was a really good movie, and I, and I told Jonathan in my text, I said, you really acted professional, except for when you were fighting JC. So... <laughs> So, um, what was your least favorite part? I don't think I had a least favorite part. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, it was all entertaining, and you know, mm -hmm. all the way through. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in there that, you know, I like. I watch the side all the time. You know, you know, interact with the boys and all that. But it's kind of like it, it kind of gave me another insight that I didn't even have before. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. I mean, I knew the, the setup, you know, the chats and all that stuff. But it's kind of like, you know. We're seeing that as it's happened, but it's kind of like with this, the way they uh, produced it and everything. It's almost like it's behind the scenes that even I didn't even know about. Yeah. GMAX has been here almost since the beginning, so 11 years. I mean, mm -hmm. they've been going, what, 11 and a half years now? Mm -hmm. GMAX said there's some stuff in there that he didn't even know. I liked the movie. It was cool. Like, a lot of things that happened then happened now, and I could, like, kind of put everyone in the spot of one of the other boys that I've seen in the movie. Um, what was your favorite part of the movie? My favorite part was when he was beating up his boy. <laughs> it was funny. I thought it was funny. They were like fighting on the grass. When like... JC and Sean were fighting? Yeah. yeah. It was funny to me. You know what my favorite part was? And, and of course it got a good audience response too. Was the fact that JC ended up getting kicked out. And Sean oh, took over yeah. as, as That was TV hilarious. Part. That was so funny. What was your least favorite part of the movie? Um, let's see. I didn't really have anything that I didn't like. Probably that he was lying so much. Mm. He was lying so much about everything. Little stuff that shouldn't have been lied. Like, it was just stupid stuff. Mm. But the movie was good. Um, what was your favorite part? Us my favorite part? Mm -hmm. uh, um, seeing that they had to work in jacuzzi where they got to do chats and everything. And um, it's still kind of the same, but not really. Like, it was just weird watching it from that point of view, being the audience member and not being involved in it and watching other people, you know, broadcast their lives. Mm -hmm. um, Everything is still pretty much the same. We still have Charlie, uh, we still have Chazzy, we still have, you know, Zachy, Jonathan. The boys may be different, but we still fall into the same categories as the old boys. You have your flamey one, you have the drunk, you have, you know, the hyperactive one, you know. Um, so which one are you? I'm the flamey one, <laughs> but I'm a mixture, you know, I'm the bitch. <laughs> I can be nice if I want, um, but I'm the flamey one, hardcore. If you were to compare me to any one of those three boys, I'd probably be, most likely be Chuck. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although he's that. fucking tall and lanky, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's my step stool? <laughs> <clears throat> but it's a little different now, because, you know, since we're the other house, we never really got to form the whole family thing. You know, it's that a lot over there, over there inside that movie that it was more um, more of a group thing. Over here it's different. We just, you know, we pretty much do things for ourselves. Although we do some group activities and do things together, it's still it's kind of different. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's just the, that's the downside that I see of it that's changed it for CBL. But, and it also made me think, too, like, I, like, since I've been here for so long, i kind of forgotten why I came here. And, like, I had to, like, kind of analyze myself after with that movie like why did I come here and you know shit happens you know I wasn't that said that whole bad situation where I was you know getting into hustling and doing drugs I guess with my ex and you know and I think the reason why I did come here was to get away from that so I'm using CBL as a stepping stone to get away from that 
And I guess I did get the whole CBL, um, what's that called? The CBL sickness or whatever you guys call it? CBL syndrome. Yeah, yes. the CBL syndrome. <laughs> like, I didn't want to do anything. And it just made me really think, hmm, I've been here for like eight, nine months. What am I still doing here? What, like, not that I want to leave anything. I'm just, you know, just what if a lot of questions in my head that I haven't really thought about lately. Mm -hmm. So, it was good to watch it. What were some of the things you were kind of mm, about, kind of on the like, fence I, about? Like, I actually found myself pulling back in my seat a little bit, like, not wanting to, like, promote that I was in the CBL for a little, just for, like, a split second, I sat back in my seat cringing down when someone um, stood up and asked a question about um, how we're exploited in this, and the third. I don't, feel ex I don't feel exploited because I feel like we choose to, we know what we're getting ourselves into, obviously, coming here, mm -hmm. and, like, um, we do the things, you know. I don't. I just don't feel exploited because I know what I'm doing. I'm choosing to do this. So, right. and you know, it's not. It's not like the, every time that you guys watch us or you know view is only when we're having sex or anything. Like all that just goes along with what we're doing throughout the whole day. It's just part of your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't. I don't know. Maybe that should have been. Um, how should I say? Um, put out more inside the movie, like mm -hmm. more promoted. Rather than just showing all, because I did notice that they showed a large, like a lot of clips of you know boys in chat naked most of the time, mm -hmm. and like it's just more than that. Like they would, I don't know. It's just hard for the audience to fully understand, but you know it was good to, for them to watch the movie to get the little point of view. Mm -hmm. Like I also I heard people outside talking about it outside, like you know not in a bad way, just like explaining it to some of their friends that just didn't get it clearly. Yeah. But, I don't know, it just made me think that movie.